Sweet Farm is an animal sanctuary, an heirloom vegetable farm, and a tech haven dedicated to creating a more humane and sustainable world. And it's through the different programs that we have is how we educate people and help them see how they can make a difference not only for the environment but for the animals. We're doing this through education, inspiration, and innovation. We educate people uh, both here at the farm as well as scaling it out globally through digital media around you know why is this uh, important. When I say uh, this I'm referring to the impacts of industrialized farming both on animals as well as on plants. Then we inspire people to make their impact, to spread their impact, and really, you know, encouraging them that progress over perfection is the key to making the world as a whole make this shift. And then through the innovation piece, we help entrepreneurs and supporting amazing products and technologies that make these changes possible by making these shifts for individuals and corporations approachable, possible, and tractable. Sweet Farm is located just south of Half Moon Bay, a beautiful coast of Northern California. We have a whole host of rescue animals. They've come from a whole different set of backgrounds and all of them are ambassadors for their species. So we have animals from factory farms who help educate people around uh, some of the issues on that front. Uh, we have abandonment cases, abuse cases, and we have animals that came out of animal exploitation cases, uh, whether it's rooster fighting or uh, petting zoo situations. And then we also have uh, this other component of our mission, which is really focused around educating people on the impacts of industrialized farming, uh, not just on animals, but also on the uh, fruits and vegetables that we eat. We want to educate people of the effects that factory farming has on the environment, the animals, and then at the same time, if we're telling people what not to eat, then we want to show them what to eat. So we grow a beautiful variety of different heirloom and open pollinated plants to promote biodiversity of plants. So we serve as an education center to educate people on how animals are farmed, uh, how the food that they consume gets to their plates, uh, what impact that has on both animals and the environment and their health. We don't want people to see our sanctuary as a petting zoo. We don't want people to have these beautiful interactions with the animals and then go home and eat a burger or a steak and, a, and have some bacon without making the connection. So we hope that we can plant the seed if they have a beautiful, positive interaction with one of our animals. When they leave, they might pause or hesitate when they're about to bite into that burger and think, hey, you know, there's argyle steer or there's gizmo. What makes this burger or any of the animals that are grazing in surrounding properties of Sweet Farm, what makes, you know, those animals any different? And then that's their aha moment. They start making those uh, first uh, connections and, and that's what we really strive for. And, and really it's about inspiring uh, someone, whatever reason that they uh, might have, whether it's uh, because of the animals or because of the environment or because of their health, really uh, opening up those positive communication channels. So the biggest thing that I would say to someone who is just hearing about this for the first time is really take that first step, no matter how small. What's important to you? What's for your future? What do you want your kids to experience? What is, how is your, you know, your health? All of those things get wrapped up into how we live our daily life. To me, it's just all one big circle, and it's a circle of compassion. And if we can be kind, it makes a big difference. And we can lead by example. So what is it that you want out of your life, and what impact do you want to leave?